shoe poskets are my latest figure collection obsession. These small but highly detailed figures are at the same price as normal prize figures. But I think the attention to details in these small sizes and these cute kind of chibi eyes really make them stand out. Himika Toga from My Hero Academia. Himika has that kind of cute but crazy look about her. So let's unbox her and take a closer look. Hello all, my name's Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. So let's open up Toga and see how she looks. I honestly think that she's actually gonna be really cool. It's only on the lines of stuff like Mitsuri and maybe a little bit like Power or Rem as well. The general pose of Toga here is quite cute and quite devious. She is a quite a devious kind of character and she's got that kind of cuteness look to her there as well. One thing I will say about this one, if we go around to the sections where it shows the A and B, this is an A, it's the only one they had. I think for once, compared to the rest of them, potentially B could have been the nicer one, the more slightly colorful one. I think A is still a bit more true to Toga herself, though I do actually quite like the more brighter version as well. But of course, I'm not gonna be getting both versions for just that slight change, it is definitely not worth it. I personally wouldn't recommend that either. Pick which one of the set that you really like the most and then go with that one. I got this from a place called Traveling Man for £24, around about 30 ish dollars. Luckily, I had a loyalty card with them, which I thought I only had about £9 on. I didn't, I had 19 so it costs us nearly nothing, about six, seven dollars in total. So let's open up Toga. They always normally come nice in these boxes here, which are very well packed. They not only just support the box itself, so that doesn't get as bent, to support the figure a bit more as well. These normally come in in about three parts, and it's more or less the same here, with the fourth part there being her knife. There's the very cute head there of Toga, with some very spiky hair buttons. Does look quite innocent, doesn't she? She's not but she looks like it. The standard Q posket base. Now don't let her looks deceive you. Yes, she does look innocent, very cute, and very well detailed. Toga is definitely not like that. I think she does have a nicer side, but at the same time, never cross her. So we take a closer look here. One of the main things, of course, in these Q poskets is definitely these eyes. These eyes are always stunning in the Q poskets. And there is no exception here either. Her eyes look absolutely amazing. Going around her as well and looking at the detail, these seem to be, I can't quite tell, don't, these don't look at the painted. These look at the se separate actually molded colors, which just makes it so much nicer because you don't get that issue with the paint work on them. It looks like a transfer. So the line on a, on a garment of that looks like a transfer going around, which is what's kept it really nice and straight. And all the way down to the details on her sock. One thing I would say about these cute poskets, yes, I absolutely do love these. And I think this is number 12 I've got now in the anime set. The downside to these, I think personally, is these bases. All the anime ones I've had so far have been all black bases. There's been no distinction between different sets or different series. Whereas I've seen some other ones out there from Disney and things like that, which have like white bases or gold bases. It would just be nice to possibly this to change it up a little bit. And I think it would be great if Kuposkets did, did that and just change the colors up just a little bit to reflect maybe the series or the sets that they're actually in. Yes, these are definitely way nicer than standard prize figure bases. You've got the nice ornate things in the bottom here, as well as the Kuposkets logo. So it does stand up a little bit more and the base isn't overly big in comparison to normal prize figures. But that would be a nice little, just to make it look a little more different on the shelf. So I think rapidly, very rapidly, Himiko Toga is definitely starting to go up my list of my cute poskets. I think she is really cool. And they've molded it and they've posed it perfectly well. It's worse because you can do that little, little bit of a head rotate. You can kind of hide her mouth a little bit so she could smile a little bit at you. But this is pretty cool, I love this. And yes, it's been a while, but I'm happy to have another cute posket to the collection. If you want to see some of my more favorite cute poskets, I'll link the videos up here and here. So go check them out. And if you like this unboxing of Himiko Toga from My Hero Academia, go on, smash that like button. My name's been Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.